lots of wonderful tools um, for our students and also for employers to be able to utilize. Um, and so I'm going to give a demonstration about that a little bit later on. But um, first, I'm very pleased to present to you the, uh, the president of Federal Community College, Patty Ojavik, who would like to address you. How many of you are current students? And the rest of you are wanting to be students and you're going to be uh, enrolling before the end of the day? <laughs> high, high hands, let's see. Don't be bashful. Oh, they're, they're shy. <laughs> well, hopefully, by the end of this session, you will get excited about what opportunities are available to you with the appropriate education um, that, to go with it. I'm kind of biased when I tell you that um, without an education, uh, you probably aren't going to be able to enjoy um, as rich of a life. And, and by rich, I'm not talking about monetarily. I'm talking about the richness that comes with an education. The richness that comes when you have the skills and the knowledge to make an impact in the environment that you live and work. So uh, this is an important endeavor. We are very lucky that we have had so many new and wonderful resources come to us through this uh, TAP grant. And the name of this particular initiative is CHEO. And it is all about the healthcare arena and what it is that we can do to make your educational experience as easy and flexible as possible. We know, especially uh, if, you're, if you're working adults, that while education may be important to you, uh, getting to the college may not be that simple. You have a family, you have childcare issues, you have the demands of a job or whatever. And so to be able to get an educational experience online, um, we believe, is just one more component of offering you the opportunity to enrich your life. Online may look a little different to all of you. Sometimes you, you don't have to come to the campus, and sometimes you are enrolled in a class that's hybrid. And as you know, or may know, hybrid means that sometimes you, look, you work online and sometimes you come on campus and you have that opportunity to have just one more um, step in having some uh, interaction and building a relationship with the fabulous instructors and staff that are here at Pueblo Community College. So if you're like me, you, uh, you look back and you say, you know, I, I think I would be good at something in the healthcare field but I'm not quite sure what that might be. And so, who do you go to? Who do you talk to? If you're not in a family that has a lot of healthcare providers, and you look up, and who, who could provide you that resource? And so, I'm here to tell you that Pueblo Community College can. And we have a variety of ways in which you, to do, which you can do that. So taking a personal inventory of yourself, and what your skills are, and what are the attributes that make you the wonderful you that you are is an important first step. And that's part of what we, we like to be able to provide here. And then taking a look at how the skills and the attributes that you have fit into your life plan and, um, and really help you build upon that to pursue a career in, in the health profession or any profession, quite frankly that uh, lands you um, to the place that you want to be. So um, the, the faculty and staff here have put together this tremendous resource that says, don't know where to go to look for a job? Let us help you. To the employers, you're looking for qualified, highly skilled, highly credible uh, individuals? Let's go to this, this, this website. So it's an opportunity for to us to marry 
all of the um, wonderful resources that we have here at the college. And we do view all of you students and potential students, I have my eye on you, all of our potential students um, as, as valuable resources. And I will tell you that especially right now, as the economy is recovering, I get two or three phone calls a day from a business person or uh, someone from business and industry saying, would you happen to have? And um, it's very exciting to me to be able to respond, you bet. Because one of the things I tell students at New Student Orientation is that our, our whole reason for being is that at the end of the day, when you graduate and you fill out that application, you go to that employer and he skims it and he says, oh, you're a Pueblo Community College graduate? Come on in. He doesn't even have to think twice because he knows that a Pueblo Community College graduate is highly skilled, highly educated, and they are critical thinkers, they are problem solvers, and they are good citizens. And so the rest of it doesn't matter. Well, most of the rest of it doesn't matter. You have to be a good citizen, and that's the most important thing. So um, by, by actively participating in your education, you have a wonderful, wonderful edge up on, on what is going to become an even more competitive marketplace. Now, the good news is you've chosen a field that I don't think we're ever going to have a, um, a lack for highly skilled people, especially in a community like Pueblo, where we have an aging population. So I'm looking at all of you and I'm memorizing your faces because when, as I get older, if I have to go to the hospital or I need an AMT, I want to know that it's a PCC employee or student that is going to take care of me. So I'm, I'm checking you all out. And this young man here, he wants to enroll. I, I just, I can feel it in my bones. <laughs> so um, this is just one additional resource. Most of you are students. Most of you hopefully recognize that what I'm saying to you is not just words, that you have felt the experience and the relationships that you have with your faculty and staff are genuine. I can honestly tell you there isn't anyone here at Pueblo Community College that isn't your biggest advocate that isn't willing to roll up their sleeves and help you in any way they can. So take advantage of every one of us and take advantage of all of the resources that we're making available to you so that at the end of the day, when you are ready to go out into that workforce, you know where to go, you know how to do it, you know who those employers are, and most importantly, they know who you are. So I'd like to open it up for any questions, if any of you have any. So, sir, would you like to know where the go zone is so that you can move on? Yes, please. <laughs> he said yes, please. So, Bonnie? Okay. <laughs> That's right. 